Time now to take a live look outside from the Mission Ridge camera. Okay, we're seeing blue skies, we're seeing sunshine, Cedric, but I definitely had to grab my coat this morning and it is the first day of December, meteorological winter, so what better day, I guess, than to be a little chilly out there, right? That's right. We want to usher in the season with a, the, the right feel. And so we've definitely seen those temperatures take a big tumble last night and heading into this morning. And we are definitely still enjoying that chill as we've gone throughout this afternoon. So 44 degrees currently in Chattanooga at the airport. Look at the dew point in the teens right now. That is some extremely bone dry air that's in place across the area. All thanks to this north northeasterly wind that's ushering in that dry air across the region. And again, it's pretty cool all across the area this afternoon 45 degrees in Athens and Dayton 45 in Dalton 46 in Murphy we've got 45 degrees in Scottsboro and 46 degrees currently in Fort Payne up along the plateau it's 40 degrees currently in Altamont so high pressure the big blue H is kind of sitting on top of us here giving us some of the pleasant conditions but keep in mind we do have some scattered clouds that are trying to build in underneath this area of high pressure so while it's not going to be completely sunny this afternoon we'll call it partly sunny out there as we'll see a few of these high clouds kind of filtering in that's all ahead of our next storm system which is is already beginning to take shape along the western half of the country here. You can kind of see it's two parts here. So we've got the nor northern part here producing winter weather over portions of uh, Idaho heading into Montana. And then if you look down towards the south, look at this. We've got some very heavy rainfall across portions of central and southern California. So whenever you see that happens, you know that the uh, subtropical jet stream, which brings a lot of the moisture, is getting a very active, and that's what's going to be building in. So for the rest of this afternoon, we'll call it partly sunny skies with high pressure continuing to control our weather, but look how quickly the clouds start to build in as we go throughout the day on Friday. Now, I think most of our Friday will be dry, but there's a slight chance of an isolated shower or two I've thrown in the forecast there for your Friday. But notice the better rain chances arrive overnight Friday and especially for your Saturday morning. So plan on waking up to rainfall on your Saturday. We'll get a break as we go from Saturday night into early Sunday, but then another wave of rain will move across the area as we go throughout your Sunday as well. So looks like a more active pattern with off and on rain chances that are going to extend into the future. So here's a look at your storm alert seven day forecast. I've got a high temperature near 50 today. Cross your fingers, we make it up to the 50 degree mark. And then notice a slight chance of a shower by late Friday, but better chances of rainfall late Friday night heading into your Saturday. We'll get a break Saturday afternoon heading into early Sunday, but then new rain chances move in for Sunday heading into Monday. And then the heaviest of the rainfall could arrive. Latrice, as we get towards Monday into Tuesday, still fine tuning that part of the forecast, but just know a little more unsettled as we head into the weekend and into next week. Yeah, it looks like a wet pattern there. Okay, thank you so much, Cedric.